So I guess the trains come every 10 minutes, the guard was just telling me. So that's pretty cool. Here's the Beijing subway map. So, I'm not sure where the airport is on this because everything's in Chinese, but, well, there's something like English here, but I don't, <laughs> don't know what any of it is. All right, this is the airport. Okay, here's the two terminals here. So the train I took came in here. Oh, that's what it did. It went to this terminal, then left there. We're here. It's going to leave here, and I can go to here. And that's where it stops. Now, if I wanted to go to Tenement Square, I would leave here. I would ride it this way around. Actually, I'd ride down to here. And then I could go straight across this one, stop at Tenement Square. Tenement East, Tenement West. That's the Forbidden City in here. Um, I don't have time, I'm sure, now to do that. But if I ever come back this way again, now that I've been to Beijing, I might want to come back and visit again myself So and spend a week or two. So I'll shoot like that. So that can be a good deal. But uh, so this is a subway map of Beijing. Ooh, so that you guys can see. So if you pause it on any of this, you guys kind of figure out where you are or what you're doing. So you can pretty much reach most of Beijing through the subway system here. So the next station will get me really downtown in here. This is like the main downtown area. So this is where I am now. I'm gonna go here, I'll be really downtown. Uh, they actually have a better system, I guess you could say, than uh, Bangkok does, that's pretty neat. It's got a nice grid to it, pretty easy to figure out. Yeah. If I can find a flyer here with this map on it, I will in a heartbeat and I'll upload a picture of it or something. I just don't know where to find it. <laughs> And the Chinese squatter is in there too. Those are Chinese squatters. No western toilets. Pretty sad. But, so, my train should be here any minute.